some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Alton, Illinois, with the fraudster known as Central Tyrant Investigations, as he attempts to, well, fraud at the local city hall, only to find himself getting booted out due to his suspicious fraudster behavior. So, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's going on, CTI? We are back. Uh, we are here in Alton, Illinois, um, home of Fast Eddie's restaurant. If you guys haven't been to Fast Eddie's or uh, ever heard of it, sorry guys, we're gonna wait for the train. <laughs> sorry about that. Anyways, if you guys haven't heard of Fast Eddie's, it is a restaurant and they are famous for their burgers. Um, I've been there before, they are delicious. But this is a good, nice shot of uh, downtown Alton and the river there. Yeah, guys, we're going to actually go up here to the city hall. Um, we're going to exercise our right like we do always uh, to uh, record in the public areas. We're going to see if they respect our rights to do so. And yeah, guys, hopefully there's no conf confrontation whatsoever. I just want to go in here and uh, take pictures and uh, disseminate that to you guys, the information that they have available. So yeah, guys, let's go in here and do so. Stay tuned. Oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> yeah, all I want to do is disseminate information. It's not as if I want to cause a commotion. Yeah, right, dude. I mean, come on now. You're a First Amendment auditor. You're a frauditor. You're a brainless buffoon who thinks he knows the law better than anybody else out there, especially those who actually study the law. Yeah, one of those brainless idiots. All right, guys. Yes, I am. Thank you. Pass that. All right, guys. Uh, we're going to check out this building here. All right, CTI fam, let me stop here for a second and point out that before we go up to the second floor, there is public service on the second floor as well. Um, they're not private um, offices or anything like that. Uh, they are open to the public. Um, so I do want to point that out. Um, that'll be crucial later on in the video. Oh, yes. And the fact that you walked right into the IT department without authorization and uh, also walked right into the mayor's uh, lobby or office or whatever without a, an appointment uh, certainly didn't uh, raise any alarms now did it because you know it departments are generally not open to the public and uh well the mayor's office in a lot of places is not exactly open to the public either because you know uh, the mayor is a very busy person okay guys this is the uh, civil services human resources um, I don't even know if this is a lobby here. It's, the door's locked anyway, so. All right, so that's everything down here. We're gonna make our way upstairs and check out what they have up there. Stay tuned. Okay. We have here the uh, Department of Information Technology. Let's go in here and see what they do. I guess this is where they do uh, fingerprints. Oh, come on now, dude. Don't tell me you don't know what uh, the IT department is all about. I mean, their job is not to fingerprint everybody, you douche canoe. Their job is to maintain 
the networks, the computers, the hardware, databases. If you have a problem, you call them to fix it. They don't do fingerprints, you dumbass. Looks like uh, Jarvis has been working here for a long time. His name's all over. Hey, how you doing? No, I'm just taking a look around, seeing what you got. Uh, what do you guys do in this department? This is what information technology we take care of the computers. Okay. Take care. Awesome. Wonder what they talk about in here and discuss. <laughs> Public relations, city council liaison. Yeah, sir. No, no, I'm just doing a story about your facility here. What's what? 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 Huh? I mean, do you have permission to come and do that, or is it? No, I'm just free press, public. I'm a journalist. Okay. Yeah. You can't be trying to get doors and stuff like that, whatever. Sir. Which doors? Did you try going IT and go downstairs? Not well, I went. I went in there. Okay. Uh, just anywhere there was public uh, access or anything like that. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, dude, uh, the IT department is generally not public access, considering that uh, they've got actual work to do that doesn't involve dealing with the general public, only with the day-to-day -day operations of the technology with inside the building. And there's a lot of expensive equipment in that office that somebody could make off with if they're not careful, which I guess uh, whoever left the door open really didn't expect a, uh, a frauded or douche canoe to come in and uh, roam around as if he owned the place, which he doesn't, despite what he may think. I'm just saying, just getting the information that's available, just seeing what is what. <laughs> Nothing nefarious. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I don't know uh, who that guy is. I should have uh, not responded to him, but it's already over and done with. Yeah, like uh, not responding to him would make you look less suspicious than you already are, you major league dumbass. Okay, well, uh, we have the mayor's office right here. Probably the secretary in here or something. How you doing? I'm okay. Yep. I got a fish fry. This. Did you uh, just put me on camera? Huh? Did you just put me on camera? Yeah, I'm just doing a quick story. I don't want to be on camera. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. Oh, okay. Um, so you're still recording? Yeah, I'm just doing a story about your information here. Okay, I'm going to have to have that. I'm not, I don't agree to be recorded, so you can stop recording. Oh, ma'am, I'm so sorry about that. I can't just stop recording. It might ruin the video. Okay, so you guys are seeing she's reaching down, hitting the panic alarm. Um, this is actually why the panic alarm was hit, not because I tried to open one door um, that was still publicly accessible. It was just closed at the time. So she uh, hit the alarm because she didn't want to be on video. So police officers, when you see this video, here's proof right here. Let's get back to it. Yeah, officers, just focus in on this one point right here that it's all uh, this woman's fault that uh, I was kicked out of this building, not the fact that I was trying to enter other offices without authorization or anything like that. No, no, no. Just ignore everything else. Focus on her. Yeah. Could I just get this information right here? Ma'am? So we're mute now, so. Okay. All right. Is the mayor in here today? Oh, guys. How ironic. Right there. Yeah. Okay. All right. 
Got some uh, nice comfy chairs right here. People to wait or if the mayor wants to come out and talk to them, I guess they uh, sit down here and nice little chat, so. Okay. All right, thank you, man. How you doing? Doing good. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Not too bad. What's, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on today? What do you mean? Got a call report that you're actually suspicious going upstairs, trying door handles, stuff like that. Uh, who told you that? Uh, that would be the employees of this building. Try, saying I was doing what now? Trying door handles. Oh, no. Oh, uh, yeah. I was seeing if there was one, uh, if I could go into one. It was uh, information. I don't remember which one it was, but it, I just was going to go in there and ask them a quick question. Okay. What, what part of the building are you looking for? No, I'm just doing a quick story. I'm just uh, gathering information to the public. Quick story? Yeah, so I'm asking just, what, yeah, I'm just checking out the building here, seeing what all they do. I went up there and uh, went inside, uh, I think, uh, what did she say she did? Like all the billing and stuff like that. I asked her what section that was and what she did. So okay. I was. Uh, I went to another place that looked just so, uh, similar to what she did, and but the door was locked, so I didn't try to okay. you know, go in there. Um, this is our the main offices of yeah. our city, so yeah. the normal city stuff. Yep, yep, um, I just come and check it out and... You're more than welcome to come here, and if you have business here, that's yes. 100% cool. But going the upstairs part and just start checking door handles, that's where the issue is. Like, what's the issue about seeing if something's open or not? Because upstairs isn't the public facilities part. Yeah, you can go up there and do I know you can go up there, but it's not public facilities to just walk and start trying door handles. No, I like, tried one door handle okay. to see if that man was in there so I could talk to him. Okay. Yeah. Hang out here with these officers real quick. I'm, I'm not being detained or anything, am I? Uh, for right now, you are. For what crime? Uh, right now, it's for an investigation. You can't okay. detain just to investigate. You have to investigate and then detain. Oh, uh, yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, where did you get your law degree at? Because I would suggest that you go back to Chile and uh, request your money back because he isn't doing anything... Uh, productive for you i mean if you pull your head out of chili's ass and actually take a look at the illinois statutes you'd find this one and this one would uh, say the exact opposite of what you're trying to say so dude yeah you need to really really do your research instead of being a chile de castro wannabe okay well we got a panic alarm here well no so that I'm was that lady that, i think so. the i think the secretary uh was hit it okay you're just gonna walk away we can detain no you can't i'm sorry what's your name and badge number i'm officer story badge number is 2203 right. what's yours officer vital 2305 oh, nice to meet you That's an illegal detainment, so I'm just going to walk away. Well, dude, why don't you try telling that to the judge who knows more about the law than you ever will? I mean, you don't even have the ability to look up this simple law that took me, what, two minutes to find uh, using the uh, Illinois statutes? So who are you to determine what's legal and illegal when you can't even be bothered to do that? I mean, you're pathetic. No, I'm good. I'm just staying in the public. It's in a, a lawful detainment, so I'm not really detained, so. Yeah, guys, so I guess the uh, secretary lady was up there. I was up there talking to her, and she hit a panic alarm for some reason. The thing is, but, someone got spooked, so they hit a panic alarm. Well, I think alarm. it was that secretary up I there. I was trying to get the information. She I, asked if I got her on recording. I said I'm not, like, trying get to get it, her. But someone spooked. They hit a panic alarm. Oh, okay. Whenever we get a panic alarm notification, yeah, you we guys have will to come out. Yeah, yeah. No one's allowed to go until the investigation's finished. Well, you, can't, just you just can't call. detain people, though, just because somebody hit a panic alarm. You have to have, like, a reason. You can't. We can. By you law, have to have. Yes, we can. No, you have to have what? Reasonable, articulable suspicion. That's no. Yes. <laughs> what do you mean no? You can detain someone pending an investigation. Like you can't just detain somebody because you think something or somebody else thinks something. Okay, let me put it to you this way. Say we let you go. I'm not saying you did anything. Right. Okay. But saying we let you go and then we go up there, we find out something got broken into and we're like, oh. Then we'll you detain me. Up. No, that's not how it works. Dumbass. 
you dumbass. You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Oh, only then can we detain you, huh? Uh, yeah, that's not exactly the smart thing to do. I mean, if you actually took something, then uh, you would most likely run away as far as you could to get away from the cops, uh, which is why you would have to be detained in the first place, you numbskull. I mean, just this simple logic just kind of escapes you, doesn't it? I mean, good freaking grief. I mean... Uh, were you dropped on your head as a child? <laughs> that is how it works. That's how the law is. Pending law. investigation until you're free. But to go. you have to have wrath. You have to have reasonable, articulable suspicion that I have committed a crime, am about to commit a crime, or am I going we to? We can detain a crime? anybody pending an investigation. I'm not going to sit here and explain. Well, that I'm, I'm you, letting sir. you know how it actually works. So you guys actually yes, are violating people. Yeah, for sure. Okay. <laughs> you guys detain people without re without wrath. We detain people pending an investigation, which this is an investigation you have right to now. Have so you're not free to go. That's what I'm explaining to you. Okay. I haven't done anything wrong, so you just detain people. We're not people. saying that you committed a crime. So if I was on the, so if I was on the right public sidewalk. Because of something that you did, so right now you're not free to go. What have I done? The o Officer January explained it to you. But, like, what have I done? Like, yeah, what's yeah, wrong yeah. with what have I done? Right now, you're not under arrest. You're just detained. Why would I be under arrest? I haven't done anything exactly. illegal. Exactly. <laughs> That's why you're under arrest. There's an investigation going on right now. So until he's done speaking with them and getting everything cleared up, you're not free to go. Cleared That's up, what we're like, saying. I haven't right, done so anything. Here's the deal. I'm just asking people here's about Here's the deal. You need to leave, leave this building right now. For what? What, what have I done? This you're is not. a public building. I understand that. We do reserve the right to tell you to leave. For you what? You do not I actually have business here. So you need oh, to leave. Let me inform you. I'm protected in the first I, amendment I know. here. I know. Leave. And this is actually business. You may leave. Are you trespassing me? I'm telling you, you have to leave now. But are you trespassing me? Those you're not currently trespassing from the building, but you're being asked to leave. Okay. If I'm I being, can ban you from the building if you listen, like. If you are asking me to Sir, leave. Sir, if you do not leave now, you will be under arrest. Okay. That's all I need. Thank you. January. What's your badge number? Leave. I'm leaving. I'm just asking you. I'm, tell, I'm that, telling you his hands on over and over to leave. All right. Okay. You want to appear to see? That's fine. Yep. You're freaking people out. They told you not, not to record them. Yep. You refuse to follow. So now you. Wait, I told her I wasn't recording her. Okay. You may leave. Oh, you outright liar. You told her that you weren't recording her, yet uh, you did record her and put it on the internet for all to see. So. Uh, when are you frauditors going to stop lying to everybody? I mean, good freaking grief. And how can anybody trust you whenever you lie this damn much? Leave the property. Leave the whole property? Yes, sir. And are you trespassing me from the property? You're not currently banned, but uh, if you would like me to get you banned, I will, I will ban you. Yeah, I need something on paper. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. No, sir, you don't. I've already left inside of there, so... You're still on the property. Okay. This is City Hall, just to let you know. Yes, This correct. is public property. This is where your rights this are is like being They okay. still have the right to I have to, to be to doing leave. something nefarious. I have to be committing no, a don't. crime. I'm going, I'm going to your department and talking to your supervisor. You, right. were, you were stupid, dude. Have a good day. All right, guys. We got these three tyrants right here. Is this what you guys get paid to do? Just stand around? If I'm not being trespassed, I can come back in there just to let you know, so. If you want to be banned, you can be banned. And then if you step another foot over here, you then will you be under be arrest arrested. for criminal trespass. And then there'll be a lawsuit against you guys, so go ahead. I do this all over the country. This isn't my first rodeo. I'm just letting you guys know. This is a lawsuit already because you guys already banned me from a public building, absent of a crime. There are just as many uh, threats of fictitious lawsuits that come out of the mouths of frauditors as there are grains of sand on a local beach. And the difference between the sand and the threats is that the sand is actually real. So, I mean, you guys can act like you know what you're doing, but you don't. You don't. You don't. You don't know what you're doing. You have to be causing a disturbance. You have to be doing something illegal. You have to be. You can't just ban people. So you cause so somebody comes in here. Cause someone to hit a panic alarm. I could cause somebody to sneeze. <laughs> Is that legal?
Oh my goodness, you really got to love the false equivalency fallacies that come out of these frauditors' mouths. Some of them are just pure gold, pure golden stupidity. A sneeze and a panic alarm are different. What if they hit the panic alarm because I sneezed? What if they got spooked because I sneezed? Because you of your behavior, you were walking. No, 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 no. The door was, you're talking about the, in the mayor's office. She hit the panic alarm because I went in there and. You were trying a door handle on a No, 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 door no, that no, 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 no. That's not why she hit the but panic. Ma'am, I was in there. The camera was recording. You weren't even yeah. here. Sir, we took the call. You took the call. I was in the office with the uh, secretary of the mayor. She hit the panic alarm. Uh -huh. It's not because I was trying to door handle. It was a lobby. I didn't try any door handles. I was just getting the information that was on the wall there, and I saw her reach down under the thing. And I'm telling you what was stated on the phone call made to our agency. So then that's a false police report then? No. <laughs> You're not good at investigation. When I just want to let you know that. Up here, you told Officer January yeah. that, yeah, you were up there at that door. No, I was at a door over on the right side. Yeah, and that's nobody, the door that I'm speaking about. So the panic alarm has a, like, a, nobody was in there. I tried one access. door and it was public access yeah. because you can go in there and do service. You don't know what you're talking about. I do this all over the country. This isn't my first rodeo. I'm sure this is not your first rodeo. Yep. So. Okay. I'm just letting you guys know it's a lawsuit. And I'm going to your department to file complaints because you guys don't know fine. how to do your job correctly. That is perfectly fine. Yep. You can file as many complaints No, as I just need one. I got a lot of people that watch, so okay. you'll be getting phone calls. Yep. Oh, you're the call flooding type of frauditor, too. You're actually going to try to shut down the police department with a bunch of calls. And if somebody gets hurt because if somebody who really needed help couldn't get through because all your sycophantic moron followers shut the system down with phones, too many fraudulent phone calls. Well, dude, that's on your head. And that's where the video pretty much ends right there with the threat of a uh, call flooding. And, uh, well, this guy is just not too bright all the way around. I mean, he doesn't understand the law. He thinks he does, but he really doesn't. And he wants to bully people around like he tried to do with these officers with his lack of knowledge. Uh, so, yeah, dude, uh, good luck with your fictitious lawsuit. I don't think you'll actually be able to file it. Oh, you'll be able to file it, but whether or not it goes through, well, that's a different story. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen to read anything. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening. Gosh. I'm not. No, sexual oriented protection. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll fing leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. What's the Third Amendment? Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. That sort of thing. Well, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead, uh, per the, um, the, uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, I've got too many entities I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. I need your name and date of birth. No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. Do you want my name and date of birth? Put your hands right now. He chose poorly. Morning, Deputy Regan St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. Also. So, that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the posted speed limit. Uh, no, I didn't it, yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, but I said... That's a 25. 35. No, ma'am. It's 
it, the whole thing's 25. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. Hi, how are you? Okay, I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave, okay? Why? I've been calling after you. You know you're not to be on campus. No. Put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys... You are now under arrest. You guys are arresting me for nothing. No. You know you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Because you don't want what, someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.